This is the IntelliLite 4 controller, and this video is a quick start on how to work with it. The highlighted arrows allow you to switch between operating modes. Here we are in off mode. The genset is not allowed to start in this mode. The controller will not respond to any of the highlighted buttons. Let's go to the manual mode. To start or stop the genset, use these green and red buttons. To operate the breakers, you'll use the white buttons. Breakers will not close automatically in manual mode. Plus, there is a software interlock between them, which means that you cannot close a breaker if the other one is already closed. Moving on to the automatic mode. The highlighted buttons are inactive. The genset and the breakers will be controlled automatically. Next, we have the test mode. In this mode, the genset will start and run unloaded. The up and down arrows placed next to the displays will take you to different screens. As you can see, each of these screens has a lot of useful information. On the main screen, sometimes you'll see an exclamation mark in the top right corner. This is an alarm signal. To see the issue, go to the alarm list by using the arrow as shown here. All alarms, including those from the engine control unit, are displayed in the same list. By clicking the alarm reset button, you'll confirm the alarms and delete the inactive ones. You can reset the alarm directly from the front panel without having to stop the genset. You can find general information about the controller, such as the application, the firmware version, and the serial number by clicking on these buttons. IntelliLite 4 supports up to five languages. You can change them by using these buttons. To log in the controller, follow the steps shown in the video. Some setpoints might be password protected, so by logging in, you'll be able to adjust the password protected setpoints. If a setpoint is not password protected, then there is no need to log in to adjust it. Follow these steps to adjust a setpoint. There are many setpoints that can be adjusted without having to stop the genset. From here, you get to the history section. Each record contains extensive information arranged in different columns, such as generator frequency, battery voltage, and running hours. These records are truly helpful for troubleshooting purposes. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact our technical support.